Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and today we are going to be building a home for my new friends, the frogs. These guys are so adorable, I absolutely love them. Definitely one of my favourite features of the wild update, which seems like it's just around the corner now. I am very excited for it and I hope you guys are too. Other than the obvious choice of frogs, what is your favourite feature coming to 1.19? Let me know down in the comments. So building a home for these frogs isn't going to be as easy as you might think. They can jump really high, like eight blocks high, so we need to take that into account when building their enclosure. I would also like it to be quite natural for the frogs, so we're going to be building it here in the mangrove swamp biome, of course, and I think I want most of it to be in the water, so I need to have a bit of a scout around this biome and pick out a good spot to actually build this in. I think this is a pretty good spot. All I was really looking for was a fairly large body of water with little to no mangrove trees obstructing it, which is basically what we have here. I think, however, I might have to get rid of a few of these that are kind of in the center of this, shall we say, lake. I cleared a few trees, but not too many because we need to build in the deep part of the swamp over here, so this part in particular. As I said, frogs can jump eight blocks high, so we're actually going to be building quite far down into the water. And over here, this is just far too shallow. I'd have to do some major terraforming, which seems unnecessary, considering we have this deep part over here. The plan is to basically make a circular wall in the water itself. It's kind of hard to explain what I'm going to do with it, so I think we should maybe just get started and I can explain as we go. For the actual wall, I'm going to be using the new mud brick block, which I absolutely love. I think it looks great here in the mangrove biome. And currently, I'm just trying to figure out how big of a circle I actually want to make. I would like to have it quite large because, well, then the frogs get plenty of room to roam around in. I know that's not exactly a circle, but you can kind of see where I'm going with it. And that seems like a pretty good size, although I think it could be bigger. However, not circular, so we're going to have to make it a bit of an oval, I think, and kind of just expand it out this way a little bit. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good size, right? Plenty of room for the frogs to swim around in. This shape currently doesn't serve a great purpose other than plotting out where the walls are going to go, because right now the frogs could just swim underneath or even hop out, <laughs> which we don't really want them doing that. We want to keep them in one place. So I'm going to bring all of these blocks all the way down to the bottom of the water, and then I might also make the top part here look a little bit nicer using some stairs, slabs, and walls. You know, if you're planning to do this in survival, good luck, because you're going to need quite a lot of mud bricks. These lucky, lucky frogs. Look at what I've made for them. So as you can see on the top layer here, we've just kind of done a random combination of slabs, stairs and walls, as well as four blocks, just to make it seem uh, a little bit more all over the place rather than having this really seamless edge to it. I, I quite like that design. And then as you saw, I've filled in <laughs> all of the walls with solid blocks here. Now we are going to have to do something with the water because a frog could easily jump from, let's say, this lily pad out of the enclosure. A little bit better than what I just did then, but they'll do something a bit like that. <laughs> so we actually need to lower the water level here to make the jump a little bit more difficult for them. Something a little bit like this. So as you can see, I've taken the water down by six layers, I believe, which isn't actually enough. However, I think it might be. So as we've discussed, frogs can jump eight blocks high, which means technically if they stand on these blocks right here, they could just do a little hop over onto the wall. The thing is, I don't know if they're actually going to do that. I'm going to test it first. So let's get some frogs in this little area here, which I've blocked off, and I'm just going to wait and see if they try and jump out. Um... <laughs> Not quite what I had in mind. He he went the wrong direction, but they can clear that as they are showing nicely here. Mm, maybe let's just hire this up a little bit and see if they're willing to jump out the other side, potentially. Okay, let's see what these guys do. So I've been sat here for two minutes now. I even spawned in some more frogs and they've just done this. 
for, for that whole time. I don't know why they don't want to jump out. Even if I get rid of these blocks, they're still not really doing it all that much. So I'm just going to assume they can jump out, but they probably won't. So yeah, I don't want to lower it down anymore. We don't really have much water left. So yeah, let's get to doing a little bit of terraforming. I don't really want gravel to be on the bottom here. Things are looking a whole lot more muddy around here. I replaced all of the gravel with mud, added in a couple of clay patches, as well as some larger, dirtier patches. So that I think I'm happy with for now. I might add in a little bit later on, but the next thing that I wanna add in is gonna be the biggest feature of the frog enclosure, and that is one of these mangrove trees right in the middle. Maybe a little bit off center actually. So if we just place a propagule here and bone meal it and we'll see what we're working with. Hmm. <laughs> These mango trees, uh, they're a little bit all over the place, aren't they? This may take multiple attempts. I don't quite know what happened this time, but my tree is tiny. <laughs> so we'll do it a third time. Yeah, still no. No, no. Fine, Minecraft, you win. I will build a custom mangrove tree. There's only a couple of trees that I'm good at making in this game, and mangrove is not one of them, it turns out. I don't hate it, but I also don't really like it. <laughs> it's somewhere in between. However, I would say it's possibly an improvement on all of the vanilla trees we were getting beforehand, so I think it's fine. Something we can also add to the texture of the terrain down here is some of the, uh, what is this called? Muddy mangrove roots. So just another block we can add down here so it's not all entirely mud. Okay, so far so good. We're creating quite a natural enclosure for our frogs to live in. I do think there's some more stuff we could add in though. So if we just actually take a bit of a swim around here or fly around and you can see under the water, we got a bunch of seagrass. So we can add some of that in and maybe a bit of kelp too. We got some lily pads on the surface, which will definitely get quite a few of those in. And that's really all we got going on here. But there are other things that we can add to the underwater area. So I'm gonna have a scroll through basically and pick out some options and try and just finish the underwater section. I'm starting to get kind of jealous of these frogs. This is glorious down here. Look at what we've got going on. It's actually a bit easier to see out of the water. So to start off with, we just handed in a bunch of kelp and seagrass. I also mixed in some more of the mangrove leaves and roots, just as a couple of bushes sort of on the side. And then over here, we have what I'm calling the frog parkour course. <laughs> if the frogs are skillful enough, they can actually hop their way up on the drip leaves, which of course collapse the longer you stand on them. So if they're quick about it, not like I'm doing again, but they can actually get out. <laughs> so it's a, it's a bit of a reward if they're willing to take on the trial. I would really like to add in some frog lights under the water here. I'm just not sure how that would work. These are a tricky block to use. They're very specific, I think. It's not really something I can kind of just do like that because it, it looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Especially as a light source because it's really going to stand out. Maybe I could like put them on some sort of pole. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'll leave it for now and possibly come back to it later. Something I would like to do, however, because this is one of my favorite decorative items in the game, is add in a couple of spore blossoms under the logs when I can, because we can't actually place them on leaves, so we may just only have to have a couple, but that's okay because we get the lovely particles on display here. It really makes this whole place feel magical. I love that block. It's not really a block, is it? <laughs> it's more of an item, I suppose. Okay, this is going pretty well so far. I'm very happy with this so far. I think the next thing we need to tackle is this land area. It's far too bland at the moment with just the mud. I'm thinking we could possibly mix in some of the rooted mud blocks, possibly a bit of dirt and some other stuff like that. However, I can't really build anything on it. Like, I'd love to have a bit of a, a stack of food. I'm thinking we could actually use uh, some kelp blocks just as their food source. I know frogs probably don't eat kelp. <laughs> they sort of stick to more insects and everything, but there aren't any of those in Minecraft. So I kind of wanted to do sort of like a little stack like that, which 
I guess if I just don't place it next to the wall, that would be fine. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to see what I can do with this area to make it look a little bit more interesting. Would you guys agree that that is much better? <laughs> so all I've done is one, add a little bit of a bush with some roots going into the water, which looks really nice. Added in some of the muddy mangrove roots just for a bit of texture. We got a food pile over here with the kelp blocks and then a couple of moss patches, which I really, really like the moss next to the mud. I think it's a lovely contrast and goes very well together and then I just added in some tall grass just because well why not but that's not the only thing I've done in between clips I have added a frog spawning area over here and I actually placed some of these down and I didn't really think that they would hatch as quickly as they did <laughs> so now we've got some tiny adorable little tadpoles swimming around which is so very cute eventually they'll grow up into fish uh, in, <laughs> they won't grow up into fish. Um, I just was looking at fish and it made me say the word. Uh, they'll grow up into frogs eventually, but, um, you know, we could just have a couple of these or spread them out down here. I'm not going to do that, otherwise we're going to get like a mass overload of frogs, which would probably be too much. But yeah, I thought that was like a, a nice spot for the frogs to go and lay their eggs. I think now the only thing I have left to do, aside from getting the frogs into their new enclosure of course, is just the finishing touches. So one thing I would like to do is actually have a way for me to get inside of here, if I couldn't fly that is. So we're just going to have a ladder going down there, I, I think that works pretty well. I could park my boat up here and hop on down and you know, check on the tadpoles and the rest of the frogs. So we'll have a ladder and also I obviously want to have all of the lily pads around here. Not going to place in too many. but enough and then anything else I can think of before we call this little project done. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. I haven't really done that much honestly. <laughs> I added in the ladder as you saw and the lily pads and the only other thing I've done apart from those two is made a little shelter over here. We had a bit of an open spot around this side and I felt like it was missing something so I've simply added a little bit of a roof up against the wall here with a nice sort of bedded area for the frogs to go and hang out on. No idea if that would be any use in real life <laughs> if frogs enjoy having shelter um, but I thought it was a, a cute little addition to make so yeah there we go the final thing we have to do is get the frogs in here so for those of you who don't know there are three different variants of frogs in Minecraft temperate warm and cold and it entirely depends on the biome they spawn in I'm pretty sure naturally they spawn in the mangrove swamp and the regular swamp biome but you can also hatch frogs via the frog spawn in different biomes therefore getting the other variants at least that's how I think it works. So we could just spawn in a couple of frogs with the spawn egg here, but they're all going to be this color, I think, which is a fine color, but I would quite like the other two as well. So it's been a little bit of time since that last clip. Long story short, I've had to delete a large portion of the video because I was spending my time trying to get the different frog variants and I was telling you guys how to do it and it didn't work <laughs> basically I must have done something wrong along the way so just gonna have to skip that part out entirely and show you what we're working with here because as you can see all of my frogs are I think the same color so the way that I was trying to get the different frog variants was spawning the tadpoles via the frog spawn in different biomes and that's what it said on the wiki or at least that's what I got from it anyway. But I think because I was in creative it, it maybe mess things up a little bit. I don't know but it doesn't really matter because we have a bunch of frogs jumping, swimming and, and croaking around this area and it is really really cool to see. To see them like interacting with everything here they keep jumping on the drip leaves and then falling back down they like to sit and chill on the lily pads and the moss over here it's it's all very fun to just sit back and watch on the plus side i haven't seen many of the frogs jump out only a couple so if you're actually building this in your world you're probably good to go down as far as i have here but maybe a couple more blocks wouldn't hurt just to stop them from jumping out at all but most of them have stayed inside the walls here, which is very nice. But thank you everybody for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. It was lots of fun to put together. And whenever the new update is arriving, I hope you enjoy playing it. I know I certainly will. It's going to be a fun one. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.
ไปฟนาว